Lefko here, and we're going to be checking out another game. Uh, this one's called Shovel Knight. It's a retro game based off of uh, old school games. This one's been built almost like an NES game. Really good. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my safe state right now. I'm not that far into the game. I think I'm about halfway through, I'm wanting to say. I'm going to go ahead back, though, to the first level, because I think it's got the best soundtrack. Love the soundtrack of the stage. So I've got my guy in black armor right now. If you hit the uh, back button, the select button, you've got certain relics that you can uh, equip. X, pull up your gear. Uh, shows the upgrades I have for my shovel, the kind of mail I have equipped, my health capacity, magic capacity, how many music sheets I have found, and how many mail tickets I can get to, to upgrade my health. Uh, he's got kind of a pogo attack, kind of like Scrooge had in DuckTales, but he can't just bounce along the ground. You actually have to pogo off an enemy. Of course, you can collect gold to, uh, well, it's not really gold, it's jewels, but it's considered gold in the game. And that purchases your upgrades. So it kind of has an RPG element as far as being able to upgrade your character. I've upgraded mine quite a bit. Uh, I've got all the upgrades for the shovel. I've purchased a few of the different armors that you can buy. As you can tell, the game has a really well-made soundtrack. Uh, graphics on it. Straight up NES style graphics, but they look really, really nice still. And it's a pretty difficult game. I mean, I'm playing one of the easier stages. I'll try to load up one of the harder ones here in a second. Uh, spikes are Mega Man style spikes. They're instant kill if you land on them. You have unlimited lives. However, every time you get killed, you lose a good chunk of your gold. If you can get back to the area where you lost the gold, you can uh, pick up the bags and get it back. But if you die again before you uh, get your gold back, it's over. Yep, lose your gold. You have to come up with some way to get some more. I'm going to go ahead and charge our shovel attack up real quick. That was our charge attack. It's another unlockable attack. Now the armor I have on right now, uh, normally when you get you get knocked back. With the armor I have right now, you cannot get knocked back whenever you get hit by an enemy. I'll go ahead and get hit by this guy and show you. See how I didn't jump back nearly as far right there? Normally, whenever you get hit, you take a pretty big jump back. Now, there's a trade-off to that. Your guy has a little bit of momentum. See how he kind of keeps running a little bit whenever you stop? Yeah, kind of like that. I slanted in those spikes right there. That would be the momentum of the uh, armor. Not a whole lot of momentum to it, but just enough to mess you up. I should not have done no, concern. In fact, this is a very easy stage. I mean, it is the intro stage. Oh well, never said that was anything great. Now, the uh, relics. Right now, I have the wand equipped. That's what the wand can do. We'll go back. There's a. Uh, this that you can use to kind of dash through when you gain momentum each time you hit something. It's where you can almost like charge through something. Like right there was a pretty decent use of the fist. We'll try it again up here. Nope, didn't have enough momentum. Uh, there's a throwing anchor, which is almost like an axe in Castlevania. I have a war horn, which anything in that radius gets destroyed. There's a fishing pole. A chaos spear which will bounce around and hopefully hit some enemies as it goes through. 
Usually I just keep the wand equipped. There's the bags from where we died earlier. We'll go ahead and try to get those picked up. Of course there's some hidden areas. There's one right there. Now that sheet music's a little pale because it's one we already picked up. And you see those sparkles on the ground right there? That's actually a fishing area. You can equip your pole. And we're just going to sit here and fish. Hit the button whenever the exclamation points come up. And uh, if we find a fish, it gives us an Ichor. This is an Ichor Renewal. Renews your health. You can hold two at a time. Now the Ichors are on the item screen, but they are one use. You use it and you go about your uh, game. Uh, as of right now, this game's going on Steam for $15, which some people think is a little high for an NES-style game. To me, it's definitely worth the price, so... I mean, imagine getting a new NES game in modern times. It's more or less what this is. But it's not just a new NES game, it's a new good NES game. Which to me, that makes a hell of a difference right there. And this game's right up there with the uh, the Mega Man games, Mario 1, Mario 3. I'm not the biggest fan of Mario 2, but it's a very, very good title. We got our hidden area over here. So I like the fact that they did take the pogo mechanic out of DuckTales, but they said that's where it's not always pogoing, you can only do it off an enemy. Which I really like that change. Though the ladders are almost straight out of Mega Man. Uh, they still uh, out of Legend of Zelda if you have full health. If you have the shovel add-on, you can fire a burst that goes along the ground. Get some treasure out of here. So, these checkpoints, these particular ones, are not breakable. Some of them you can break and get gold out of them. But, if you break it, the checkpoint no longer functions as a checkpoint, you'll go all the way back. So it's kind of a trade-off. Are you a good enough player to make it through without dying? If so, you might well break it open for some extra gold. Oh, took a small hit right there. Well, this guy you gotta watch, because if you kill him at the wrong time, you'll fall right down that pit. There we go. Now, whenever you jump and are moving in this armor, you really move. Let's let him run off there. We'll go ahead and jet, and I let go. You see how far I moved across there? Sometimes you come to a dead stop. Usually after a pogo attack. Not going to be able to get in there yet. That's a shame. Sure, no way to this back there. As you can see, replaying stages get you a good chunk of gold. Which, you want to build up your gold levels, and I'll show you why here in a second. And like I said, if you uh, end up getting killed in the stage, if you do lose some gold, you might be able to get back, depending if you can get back to where you were. 
And we'll go ahead to our boss fight real quick. This guy's really easy. We're gonna go ahead and use our ground attack to... Oh, we do not have full health. No using the ground attack. Let's use our wand here to take a little bit of his health off. Oh, got me. <laughs> He kind of has a charge up attack that we just block with our wand. And he is done. Yay. <laughs> <coughs> so I'm gonna run into town real quick. This town is the one where you can get your magic and your health upgrades. This guy here, if you've uh, found the song sheet, he can play it for you. We'll go ahead and get that one going. Now this guy here, you can still buy mill tickets from. Once you buy so many, you can no longer buy mill tickets from them. Talk to this guy, give him a meal ticket, he'll increase your health. This guy, you pay gold, he'll increase your magic. Uh, this guy over here, you can buy uh, certain relics and equipment from. Like, he's got the alchemy, he can toss a coin for a chance at riches. You know what, we will buy that. Oh, well, let's toss a point. I have no clue what just happened there. I don't know how you use that. I guess we'll have to figure that out later. We're all getting the catapult. The catapult ourselves across the map. This is the other town, which uh, once I leave, you'll be able to see what it is. Not sure, I don't think either of these guys really have anything for you. These two guys do though. This guy can purchase shovel upgrades from, although I've already bought them all. This guy can uh, buy armors and change the equip, equip them. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the dynamo mail. Uh, anytime you do two consecutive bounces, it charges up your charge attack, which is that attack there. And that was the town we were in there on the map. Just to show you where we were. Now sometimes you can actually find enemies on the world map that you'll need to be. But I don't have any there right now. I'm gonna go to the stage I haven't beat yet, which I'm probably gonna get my rear end handed to me here. But towards figure towards the end of the video, I'll show off one of the harder ones since we went through the easier one there. So I'm probably going to die on this one for sure, but we'll try it anyway. See where the enemies can. Oh, that was good. Where the enemies can hide behind stuff. I've got a wizard fire and something that you know, I'll split whenever it, it, it ah, never gets to you. Like that. We're gonna change our weapon. There we go. We used a lot of our magic power there. I probably should purchase a couple upgrades for our my magic, but we'll get to that here in a little bit. there. Now you can't really tell in the gameplay video, but the wind is actually pushing me. Let's see if I can bounce up here. Good move. 
are back in the ship again. This is one you can break. I'm ahead once or twice here. See how it's cracking right there? One more hit, I think I'll break it, and then uh, that we'll get some gold, but we won't have that checkpoint. Up oh, and the gold we would have up from beating him just went down a bit. Face the right way for that. There we go. Now I'm probably gonna play until I die here. Grab some more gold. I think we're gonna have to bounce. Yeah, like that. Got him. See if we can maybe go up. There we go. And up and over the spikes. This could be interesting. <laughs> oh, that don't look fun at all. Let's see what I can do here. If I time it just right. There we go. Don't like this room at all. Oh, we don't want to fall on the spikes. Yeah, this room sucks too. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got a little bit of a clue here where the platform sex and cannonballs are exploding right there. We'll go ahead and jump there. Now that, I'm not sure, kind of see where the platform's at. Ooh, we made it. Okay, good deal. We got a good chunk of gold out of there. Made it through there. Yeah, this don't look good. Okay. Yep, that sucks. I think we might need to use our shovel to redirect the bombs. At, yeah, like that. Whoa, I couldn't move there. That wasn't cool. Alright, took care of that thing. Got a little bit of health out of the deal, too. Let's try going right. Bounce up here. See if there's anything hidden behind that. Bunch of stuff hidden back here, actually. We're gonna try to bounce up on that ladder. Awesome. Huh. Whoa! Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do there now. Alright, I was a little confused there for a second. Go ahead and bounce off him. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Ah, no! Okay, made it. Yeah, as you can see, the levels definitely get a little harder. Get across here. Hidden area. Sheet music if we can get to it. I have no clue how I get to it though. We may come back to that later. Okay, looks like we probably want to stay in the platform. At least until we get over here. Another checkpoint. We may actually beat this level. That would be pretty cool. like that. <laughs> that could have been bad. Oh! We have a uh, scrolling section here. Hold on a second. We're going to go for it. And we're going to die. Oh, okay. <laughs>
give it one more shot before the end of the video. Bye bye. Okay, back to our scrolling section. Looks like the wind's blowing against me, which isn't helping matters. It's just some of the gold we dropped. No! Oh! We gotta find a way to take care of that green guy. Don't like him at all. You're a jerk. Come here. <laughs> Okay, now we need to remember, there's going to be a green dude, and he's going to just mess our world all up. Where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. You need to die. Okay. Yep, we missed one of our gold bags. I don't even care right now. Okay, we've got something interesting going on down there. We're gonna have to jump for it. I oh, think we made it. Sweet. Well, this looks interesting. Let's wait in that fan. And jump now. Made it. No full flying gophers. We don't like them. Die, gopher. Die, gopher. Okay, we've gotta watch these spikes here. No! That's not what I wanted to do. And of course the gopher's back. Why wouldn't it be? Come here, little gopher. Come here. Come here. Die. Okay. We have to time this just perfectly here. Okay, there we go. Pretty sure we've made it through this room. Yep, see that hidden there? Wait in the fan and run for it. Grab on the ladder. I don't like that guy over there. Let's kill him. Whoa, that pissed him off. <laughs> Bye. Okay, now we got that fan. Let's. Let's stand right there, and now we'll go. Let's see if there's anything hidden up here. Lots of gold, okay. Got another checkpoint, but I'm not sure how to get down there. Okay. There we go. Yeah, this could be interesting. Go now. Please stop. Okay. Go now. That mm, shouldn't have went right there. Okay. <laughs> really want to beat this stage. Oh god, this could be bad. Okay, first we're going to kill you again. Go now. Just gonna go down. For a second, now go. Don't worry about the other gold bag. Don't even care. Let's get out of here. Jesus! Ah, I don't like it. 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 Okay. Okay. Now go. Ah, uh, I don't like it. Okay. I don't like it. Okay. Yeah, up could be a major problem right there. Okay, get over, get over, get over. Okay. Let's go ahead and blow them up and then try to bounce off the A cannons all. No. Made it. Okay, I think we actually made it to the boss. I'd be very happy if we're at the boss right now. I'm very happy.
Okay, hopefully we can kill this guy. Die! Die! No! That's me dying, not you. Oh, where, where'd I go? Where'd I go? That wasn't cool. I don't like that. No, stop. That's not good. No. Uh... What? No! No, no. Okay, you gotta keep a close eye on my health right now. We're gonna have to use that Ichor. And pray to God we can still serve. What? No, that's not. That's no good. You need to stop that. No! Okay, I think now would be a good time to use that Ichor. Thanks, that was tasty. Stop that. We're gonna switch back to our... You know what? Let's see if we can just Warhorn this dude out. Got him, alright. We have somehow beat that guy. I have no clue how that even worked. I did not expect to beat that level. And here's our uh, Shovel Knight. Chilling. Sleeping. And we're gonna wake up and go back on our quest. Sweet, so we've only got one more lock tonight, that's behind Tinker Knight. Now I noticed we're running real low on magic, so we're gonna go upgrade our magic. And after that, that will probably be the end of this video. Uh, if you're interested in this game right now, it is currently 15 bucks on Steam. Like I said, I highly recommend it. Okay, more magic will cost 6,000. But, anyway, 15 bucks in Steam right now. I'd really recommend picking it up and playing it. So next time, this is Lefko, signing out. See you all on Retro Review Revolution. <laughs>